Oh, well, here we are. 2022, right? We're living in some really crazy, uncertain times. You know, the world's going bonkers, economies are going nuts, interest rates are going through the roof, the cost of living's going up, your electricity prices are going through the roof, your gas prices are going through the roof, your petrol prices are going through the roof. And there's all this uncertainty out there in the world and go like, where the hell are we? Where the hell are we heading, right? So look, this little video I want to share with you a simple strategy. It's called chunking down, how to break stuff down and how to simplify stuff so that you can make simple decisions to move your life. I'll give you an example. Um, this morning, right, I was over here and I decided I'm going down to the pool, I'm going to go swimming. Now, for those that know me, I train about three or four days a week and I want to keep myself fit and active and, you know, as I move into my later years of life. Now, here's the thing. I said in my mind before I went there, I said, right, I'm going down the pool this morning and what I want to do is, I want to do 30 laps of the pool, right? So 30 was my big goal, okay? Right here. So 30 laps. So I'm not going to swim 30 laps without stopping. So what I had to do, I had to break it down and had to chunk it down and had to put in a little step here, a little step here, little step here, little step here. So what I did, first thing I did, I thought, right, I know I can do between five to eight laps. That'll be my first little goal, okay? So I just broke it down. I just chunked it down into little steps, okay? And this is what you can do in any area of your life. If you've got a challenge, if you've got a problem, if you've got an issue, you can just break it down. So first thing I did, I did seven laps. In between my laps, what I do, I do some squats, I do some dips, I walk a couple of laps. So I take a little breather in between. So I did my first seven laps, okay? Then I did another five. All of a sudden, I'm up 12. Then I did another five. All of a sudden, I'm at 17. Then I did another five. No, I did another three, sorry. So now I'm at 20. So now my mind starts to think, wow, I started here. I was at zero. I've had one, two, three, four little steps. All of a sudden, I'm at 20 laps. Now, I'm watching the clock because this is six o'clock in the morning. So at 20 past six, about quarter past six, I'm at 20 laps, and I've got six till 6.30 is my time to do this, right? So what I did then, I said, right, I've got 10 laps to go. So my mind's gone from doing 30 laps, all of a sudden I'm sitting there going, wow, I'm at 10 to go. I've got, I can break it down. I can do five lots of two. I can do four, three, and three. I can do 10 lots of one, whatever it want to be. So I broke it down. I thought, how simple is this? I thought, you know what? I'll do another five. So I went bang, another five. Now I'm at 25. Can you see now? Here we go. So all of a sudden I thought, here's what I'll do. I'll do three and I'll do two. All of a sudden I'm at 30. Now I looked up at the clock. Now in between I've done probably six or eight laps walking. I've also been and I've done a heap of squats. I've done a heap of dips. So I've added all this extra stuff in. Now this is in 30 minutes, but I just broke it down and chunked it down. Now in my mind as I was doing the last 10, when I did... The five, I got to my five, I thought, there's only five to go. I did my three, I go, I've only got two to go. All of a sudden, I'm at 30. So here's what I did. I went and did an extra two, just to say that I could beat it. And all of a sudden, I'm sitting here, I've done 32 laps. And it's 6.30 in the morning, I'm out of the pool, in the shower, dressed, home, had breakfast, shooting this video, I feel like a million bucks. So folks, any time you've got any sort of issue, any sort of challenge, any sort of problem that you want to solve, try to break it down, okay? So the cost of living, let's just use that as an example. If you're stressed out thinking, holy shit, the price of groceries is going through the roof, petrol, power, gas, the whole shebang, how the hell do we deal with it? What's step one? What's the first step that you can take? I'll give you a tip. Sit down and assess where all your money's currently going. That's the first thing that you should do if you're going to talk about money and finances. If you're talking about health and well-being, if you're overweight and you want to lose weight, you want to exercise, you want to get started, what's the first step that you can take? Well, I can tell you what the first thing should be. Set in your mind a target or a goal of what you want to do and what you want to achieve. Because if you don't have a target, you don't have a goal, you wake up in the morning and go, oh, same old, same old, I might start exercising tomorrow. I might start doing something next week. Oh, I think I'll go to the gym next week. Oh, you know, and you start all this bullshit that you don't even get started. So folks, one of the simplest things that you can do in any area of your life that you want to progress, that you want to move forward, that you want to take steps, that you really want to start getting ahead in life, then you have to set a mini goal. 
and then break it down and chunk it down. Okay, so for instance, when I do property investing with my clients, I've got five simple steps that I teach people. And step one is this. What's your bigger purpose? Why do you want to invest? Where are you stuck right now? I need to understand where are you today? But where do you want to get to? What is the goal? What's the big thing that you want to get? Let's use property investing as that example. What's the goal that you want to get to over here? Well, I want to get out of my job. I want to make sure I've got enough money when I retire. I want to look after my family. I want to look after my kids. Um, I want to make sure that I've got something else other than superannuation because if you watch the world economies and you watch the way the stock markets crash and how stuff happens just bang overnight, you don't have any control over your super. So a lot of people that are doing property and investing, they're doing it because they want that financial security. They know that they want to have better in life and they know they want to be safe and secure. So folks, short, short little video this one, really short and sharp. Anytime you've got a problem, anytime you've got a challenge, let me just give you one quick one. Put it here. When you've got a problem or when you've got a challenge or when you just can't make a decision about something, get up over here and go, what are the positives? What are the negatives, right? And one thing that I did to change my life years ago when I decided to quit a job and start this business, I sat down and I said, you know what? What's good about this? What could go well? And what's the worst thing that could happen? And when I worked it all out, I thought in between the two, I thought I'm going to quit my job. I'm not going to have an income. I don't know um, how this business is going to go. Here I am 12 years later, still running the business, by the way, having a ball doing what I do. And best thing I ever did, but I tell you what, it was gutsy to take that step and just throw that, walk away from that job and walk away from that income. But I did it, right? But here's the thing. I sat down and looked at, okay, what's the worst thing that could happen to me? Well, the worst thing that could happen is my business didn't work, I didn't make any money, people didn't like what I was doing. I, well, you know what? I just go back and get a job on a building site because that's what I used to do, right? So, folks, if you're looking to take a step, if you're looking to move forward, write down what are the positives, what are the benefits you could get by taking that step and, and getting the result that you want, and you go, well, hey, what's the worst thing that could happen? So if you, let's use weight, let's use weight. If you want to lose weight and you start out on a program, and you start eating better food, and you start going to the gym, and you start doing regular exercise. What's the worst thing that could happen? You could fall off the fall off your bike. You could um, go and eat a go and eat a pizza. You know, you can. We're not going to do this perfectly, but every time you take that little step, what you should be doing is going. How do I measure my progress? Am I feeling better? Am I feeling fitter? Am I looking better? I don't go about weight, I go about how I look and how I feel, right? That's what I want to do. So folks, again, little short out. I know it's tough times out there. Everybody's a bit worried about where life's going, where the economies are going, where these crazy governments are going. Um, look, it's, it's friggin' nuts. But what you have to do is take control of you. Take control of you, your life, and what you can do on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis, folks. So if you want to handle that, you want to get yourself into a better position, just break things down into small baby steps, and I'm pretty sure you'll get the results that you want, folks. All right? Hope you enjoyed that. Hope it helps you out. Hope it breaks things down for you and simplifies it. If you need any help, always feel free to sing out, send me a message, send me an email. Happy to help you out and give you a bit of a, bit of a tip here and there to get you on the right path. All right, folks? Enjoy your day.